So, hello, I'm Fernando from Boatlock. Glad to have you here. Let's dive right in. So, in Switzerland, we have a proud tradition um, of being close to our citizens and with our politics with direct democracy. And we like to see ourselves as transparent in our ways and works and in, in politics. But even though not all data is published or public, publicly accessible, um, even the data that's there is highly complicated. It's a lot to contextualize for journalists and political scientists, and it's hard to comprehend. They need to um, focus on specific topics, and we try to help them here, because I think civic tech can do something about this. When it comes to elections, we we have tools like smart vote to see um, what politicians want to do, where they want to head with our country. And we have also tools like lobby watch to see how the politicians are situated. But we don't have a standardized tool to look at the voting behavior of the individual parliamentarians that um, got elected and what they did over the four years of a legislative period. So we think that civic tech can help here. So this is our main goal, our main focus is to increase transparency and accountability in Swiss politics, or let's say it in layman terms, was macht jetzt bei Andorra eigentlich? So this is our basis. Let's go through it step by step. So the parliamentarians um, in an LP um, have a lot of decisions to make on these votings, which is an enormous amount of voting, as you can see, every year and or even more over an LP. But luckily, all of this gets compiled into these voting records that a lot of you already know. And we can use this to analyze also the voting behavior. So what we want to do, we want to empower organizations. So think Gewerbeverband, Amnesty International, Hotel, Mieter and Mieterverband, um, organizations that are already undertaking lobbying efforts and are already publicly acknowledging their position on specific topics. So we want to give them the ability to assess votings. Then we look at the voting records, compile a ranking through, through that to evaluate the parliamentarians. But the important thing here is that organizations can't directly rate the parliamentarians. It's always fact-based and it's always transparent what votings has been assessed. Or for the citizens, it looks more like that organizations compile an informed perspective into a ranking to evaluate the parliamentarians. So this looks something like this, where you can see who agreed most with the preference of, preferences of an organization and who the least, and look also at your specific canton. The prototype is always accessible on the prototype.votelog.ch. We are a transdisciplinary group of people from art, design, computer science, political science, uh, philosophy, and furthermore, I'm pretty sure. And um, we are also looking for more people. And besides that, we are looking for more organizations interested to test and use our platform. We're currently working together with around 10. And we're also looking for the next steps in funding to further develop the platform. So I hope to see you in our demo session. And I'll give it back to you, Florian.